All right, Latina Christiana, lesson 14, exercise A, and we're working on translating, and it says prepositional phrases are underlined. I guess I didn't underline. In agro de mensa, and those are the two. Okay, so we're going to turn these from Latin into English, and it's going to be kind of fun. So, pueri et puelai. There's our subject noun. It's a compound subject noun. Pueri, boys, et, and, puelai, girls. And we're going to go all the way to the end for our verb. Current. Curro currere is to run. Boys and girls run in agro. This is in plus ablative. Usi o um o. It's got the o on there. In agro. In the field. Boys and girls run in the field. Number two. Libri et tabellae de mensa alta cadunt. Libri. Books. Et and. Tabellae. Tablets. What do they do? They cadunt, fall. De mensa alta, from the alta mensa. What is that? From the high table. There we go. Books and tablets fall from the high table. Imperator magnum Provinciam regit. I wrote that wrong. I knew that looked bad. Magnam provinciam. Look at that. Regit. Okay. Imperator. The general. The general regit. Rego regis regit. The general rules. And what does he rule? The magnum provincium. The large, magnify, the large province. Wow, the fan on my computer is buzzing because it's trying to process your previous video. So you might hear that little sound of air humming in the background. Okay, number four. Legatus epistulas Multas tradit. Legatus. That is the deputy or the lieutenant. The lieutenant. L I E U T E N A N T. Tradit. Hands over. Epistulas multas. Multas. Many. Epistulas, letters. There we go. Now that wasn't too bad. Now exercise B, a little bit more difficult where we are um, going from English to Latin. Let's pause. Okay, hopefully you've done exercise B and you're ready to correct it. If you haven't done it, I want you to turn this off a moment and do it and then come back and correct it. But some kids in class were already working on exercise B today because you guys were flying through this. Okay, Christ leads the apostles. Christ, and that is Christus. Christ with an us on the end. Christus. And then for leads, we love to put our verb at the end of our sentence, okay? So, duco ducere, duco ducis, ducit, ducit, he leads. Christus ducit, and this is our D.O., the, apost the apostles. So, what is apostles? Do you remember? Apostu, apostuli? would be apostles in nominative, but we need apostulos. So apostulos, omos, omos. So plural accusative. 
Christus Apostolos Ducet. Mark, Marcus. Okay, now I double underlined here because is running. It, it's not a linking verb, Marcus is a running. No, no, no. Is running, does run, or just the word runs. Marcus runs across the field. So is running is the same as Marcus runs. So let's put runs way down here at the end. So do you remember what our new word is? Cro, curere, cur, cro, curis, curit, because it's Marcus. Marcus is running, does run, or runs across the field. Now this is a prepositional phrase. Trans, cross, the field, and you accuse the field when you run across it, so it's agram. Marcus trans agram curet. They are placing. Wow, we're not going to give a special word for they. That's just going to be the ending, unt. Are placing. All right. So what is our, they are placing pono ponere, and that's going to be ponunt in our week E. Ponunt. They are placing the table. Okay. So it is the mensa. Mensa, and we're going to put it in accusative. They're placing the mensa. It's being accused. In the cottage. And really, if you place this is kind of a little bit weird the way it's written in English. You could just be placing it somewhere in the cottage, which would be in plus ablative, which would be in casa. Now, don't panic if you had it the other way, because I'm going to talk about why it could be both. They are placing the table, accusative, in the cottage, in casa. That means they're just placing it around somewhere in the cottage. But if this sentence means that they are placing the table in the cottage, like they're putting it in right now, maybe that you're thinking more of an into the cottage, then you might have put in kasam and made in plus accusative. Okay. So they're either placing it somewhere in the cottage where it's already in the cottage, that's in casa, or they might be putting, placing the table. Let's place the table in the cottage because now, now it's on the front lawn, so it's going to be in casa. That'd be putting it into the cottage. Um, so if you put either, um, I feel this sentence could go either way depending on what you were trying to translate. So either in casa or in casa will be okay. And, and if it ever was that way on a test, I'd be a little more explicit about what I meant. Lucy, Lucia, hands over. Okay, trado, tradere, trado, tradis, tradit, tradit. That's she hands over. All right, she's going to hand over two things. And as she hands over these things, she's going to be accusing them. Okay. Tuba, tubai, trumpet, trumpet. Tubam is one trumpet. Tubas is multiple trumpets. Tubas and it harps. So harp is kithara. One harp being handed over would be kitharam, but this is multiple, so kitharas. C. Ah, let me pause this because I think my book is spelling it wrong. Let me... So I just looked down at my answer cue one and that threw me off because they called them chitteros. Well, uh, harps are not chitteros. They're kith. Kith. Make sure now that I spell it right. C I T H. Where are we? C I T H E T H A R. Kith. Aras. Oh, that's funny when they answer you. Key is so wrong. Lucia tuba set kitharas tradit. Now, the last things that we have on the bottom, we have derivatives. An agent, a goagere. 
Remember what a go agere is? A go agere is to do drive, act, or treat. So an agent is someone who does stuff or acts on stuff or treats stuff and um, conduct. Now, what, what word do you think conduct is from? If you look on our word list, if you're going to conduct an orchestra, then you might, well, let's look a little closer at conduct. I wrote it up here for, okay. It's not the con part that we're looking for. It's the duck part. And that comes from du co, du carré, right? To lead. So a conductor is someone who is leading the orchestra. They've got that little wand in their hand and they're leading the different instruments in their parts. So that's where conduct is going to come in. Our next derivative word that we're working on is incredible. Incredible. And there's the credo credere, to believe. And something's incredible, it's unbelievable. And we have cascade. And cascade, that's the cado cadere, to fall. So if water is cascading over the cliff, it's falling down over the cliff. cliff. And revive. The vive, we wo, we were, that's speaking about living. So revive is when you bring someone back to life and they're now living again, you've revived them. So you've got five pretty simple derivatives. I never wrote down the first one, agent. There was that ago agere to do, agents do things. So hopefully you can do a real nice derivative sentence for each one of those. And when you have finished all of our two pages of exercise in our Latin book, don't forget to practice your words and your chants every day, but I want you to go specifically to the LFCA site and here's a little area where you can take a survey. Now look for the survey, you'll put your name in and stuff, and that survey is going to send me a message immediately that you finished and you've earned the bonus honor sticker. Yay! For doing all of your homework. So hopefully you've done both videos, you've completed everything, and you're ready to have a great week. I was impressed this week. It was better than any of the weeks, and I think it's because everybody really did watch their videos and try really hard on their homework, and you guys were able to show so much more progress in class than you did the week before. So that made me very happy. It gave me a lot of hope about how our class is going to do for the end of this book.